Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia. Today we're going to be talking about the different Studio One views. So before I start this, let me tell you, Studio One has a very cool feature, which is the fact that all the different views can be seen as tabs and not necessarily different windows like other DOS might be doing. Okay, so let's start with the very first view. Your very first view is your main view or timeline view. And you can find this in any other digital audio workstation. And it, it, that, it is very easy to identify because you're going to see your tracks on your left. Um, their label, here's one track, it's called Loop 1. Tracks are normally organized in a vertical way. And every track will, will show uh, it's either audio information or MIDI information in a horizontal way, uh, it, in a linear way. In this case, our Loop 1 track it's an audio track and you can see the audio information expanding from left to right in a linear way. Another way to identify this window or this tab or this view it's because you're gonna see some kind of uh, grid on the top, uh, some kind of timeline, either uh, bars, beats, minutes, seconds, samples, and you're gonna see that it increments from left to right so that's a way to identify your main timeline view. So the second view that we have is the browser view. The browser view you can find by going into your bottom right corner and if you click on browse you can see your browser tab on your right hand. Uh, you can always click and drag it to make it uh, to resize it, make it bigger or smaller. And this is the view where you can find your instruments, effects, loops, files, cloud, pool. That you can always click and drag into your session. Uh, sorry, into your song. <laughs> um, this is very important because, uh, as I said, even though it's a tab, you can always resize it and kind of make it into a window because you can make it as big as the window. Um, that's your browser view or your browse. You can also find your third view that I'm going to call my console, my console view, that you can find it by going into your bottom right corner and clicking on mix. When you click on mix, boom, here's your console view. You're going to see faders that resemble basically a console. Uh, there's your pan, solo mutes, record enable, input monitor, obviously your faders. And this is a very common view. You're going to see it in most digital audio workstations. Um, and this is where people normally tend to mix. Why they tend to mix here? Because this resembles a console. You're going to see your inserts, your sends. And, and, and as I said, you can find it in, in many digital audio workstations. Uh, you can always click and drag to make it smaller. So you could basically be working on your timeline or main view and also on your mix view. If you click on mix you can toggle that on and off uh, so you can show it or hide it. Now our, our last view it's our editor view that you can find by clicking on edit on your bottom right corner. Basically when you click in your timeline in any kind of um, audio or MIDI event that's going to be shown in your editor view. This is where you you have the um, capability to edit either audio or MIDI, okay? You can always resize it by clicking and dragging it, so it's easier to see. You're going to do your edits, and then you can click back on edit, and then you're back on your timeline view. Uh, in the vast majority of cases, you're going to find yourself switching between the timeline and your console or mix view. Um, and that's that's something that I do basically every day. But, you know, when you're going to be editing, you might be using this. And when you're browsing files, loops, MIDI, uh, MIDI information effects, you're going to be doing that from your browser or your browse tab. As I said, Studio One uh, calls these tabs because they're not technically windows, but tabs, they're part of the same window. And it's kind of cool that you can always... Um, you can have different things open at the same time, different views, like in this case, you're looking at your uh, console or mix view, your main view, and your browser view, all at the same time on the same screen. 
I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can call us at Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.